For the next step in the process, it's really useful to have a background gradient. I think that most images have a, a floor, a wall, or a ceiling. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. So we'll create a layer. And in our there's a ceiling and a floor. So, the gradient tool, following the direction of the ceiling, I shall make a gradient. Good and for the floor there. Another gradient. And seeing that the floor is further back in our image, I shall fade that back a bit. There we go. It's useful to have this for the next depth so that we can use it as a reference for all the different depths of our objects. Finally, we have to combine all these separate parts into a single depth map, changing each of their brightness so that they're in the correct depth position. I use the levels adjustment to change the brightness of each image section. So select the section, add a levels adjustment and use the output levels to change the dark and light parts of the image. You can think of these as the range of depth that this object occupies in your final image. So, like this particular part, choose uh, a section that has the greatest range and depth, that's helping you with further bits. I shall bring in the back of this object so that it's just in front of the gradient. So it just ends touching the roof. So these brightnesses are approximately the same. So let's see what's about there. And this is at the front of the image, so it remains white. Repeat this for all other sections. Once you've done this process once, have a look at all sections. You may need to readjust some of these gradients. Like this one here is darker than that, which means it's gone behind it. That's obviously wrong. So you may have to do this several times, readjusting to make sure that all the depths of nearby things match. A useful hint is using the Move tool. If you right click on a layer, you can select it, which helps to find the layer I'm, you're after. And then, with it selected, you can readjust these gradients to be correct. Once you're happy with all your different parts in the right place, you can collapse them down into one image. You can then add further details by selecting bits of the original image, like so. Going back to your depth map, using the dodge and burn tools to add a little bit of extra detail. Now, obviously I rushed through this to show you the whole process. Uh, you can obviously spend a lot more time um, making these things more accurate. One thing to note 
is things like these little cracks that I left. They're important for you not to have because these rapid changes in brightness would equal spikes in your depth map, which are horribly ugly. You can use things like uh, the healing brush or originally when you had your layers, the um, stamp tool to make sure that these aren't there. So, that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Bye-bye.